All right, here we are, 1515 Bay Villa. Two units. Nothing really exciting about it, as far as the exterior. It looks clean. Um, looks like there may have been a big tree here at one time. Um, that's something that you see if there was like a tree sitting in this spot. There was one that got chopped down a while ago. Um, looks like the storm brought down a huge branch, as you can see from here. A little bit of air coming from this tree right here. Still have some limbs and stuff over the roof. There is this, that's where it broke. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. That's where it broke right there. So, let's go ahead and go. It's got paver driveway. Now the pavers seem to be starting to, you know, buckle a little. Shift, I should say. A lot of shifting, especially around this tree. Um, definitely we need to have something done. And also it seems to be, uh, so the, so the concrete they put around it to keep it in place seems to be pulling off. So you see a lot of shifting here. And around, it just needs to be redone professionally. Got some dead stuff here. There's the entryway. Eight foot window, or eight foot door with two side lights on either side. Let's go in. All right. Foyer, back to the porch. And I'm gonna start turning on a bunch of lights. See what we got. All right, so when you walk through, you have laminate floors. These are not real wood. And directly ahead after you walk through, to the left you have the living and dining. To the right you have the kitchen, so it's not a fully open floor plan. There's three doors when you first walk in that are dead ahead. Door number one leads to a coat closet, very deep one. Can store luggage here or whatever. The doors seem to be solid core, which is nice. Very thick. Behind door number two is under the stair storage. So this storage flows in and around. And there's the security panel box. You have a lot of good storage here. Door number three is a half bath. And looks like they might have a lot, there we go. This one has the original hardwood floors, solid wood. It's got a little shelf there. And there's a cutout from, uh, to install the vanity. And they put a light here as well. Let's back out and we'll go to the kitchen. Kitchen has travertine flooring. This is a breakfast nook area. Good size. Kitchen. It's got stainless, granite, cabinets. The microwave does vent to the outside. These uh, mostly look original. The, uh, the fridge is Frigidaire. The dishwasher is Whirlpool. The microwave is GE profile and so is the range. So probably the GEs were the original things put in. But they're pretty dated. You have a door that leads to a pantry. the breakfast nook again and two-car garage electrical panel boxes here the uh, fiber optic thing is there 
Good size, a lot of space between the track and the wall. Uh, looks like there's a pull down, maybe for attic space. Uh, looks like the security system and the main router is here. I do not see a sprinkler system. Yeah, there's definitely room up there to store stuff. Cabinets of this age typically did not have um, uh, soft door closing. So, um, so let's look at the dining room. And open up a couple blinds here. Dining room is good size. Might actually be oversized. Yeah, this is huge space. A couple columns over here as well. To the right of the staircase is going up to the second floor. Looks like another coat closet. And then here's the family room. A lot of, you know, just unfinished trim molding. Just doesn't look like it was really attached right, especially the shoe molding at the bottom. I mean, I think my son could do a better job attaching that than what they did here. But it is good size. It does have the size. This is just a storage closet off the living room. These are for speakers one, two, three, four, and five. It's got the old style canned lights. You have not one but two French doors. Assuming I can open them. Ah, bitch is stuck. Let's try this one. There we go. And it goes to just a wooden deck. Not much to it. Just a wooden deck. It does have a, it is plumb for gas. It does have a couple outlets. The siding is hardy board, which is nice. Looks like they may have tried to touch up paint or something between the boards. I'm not sure why. This is a complete 100% frame construction. There's no block. That's one thing that's nice about the other property on San Miguel is that's two-story reinforced block for concrete, all that fun stuff. And let's hit the stairs. Stairs to the second floor. So it's an open banister. Again, this is all probably carpet at one point. They took it all out, put in laminate flooring. You got a deep linen closet. Bedroom one, it's a good size. It's got a quasi walk in closet. Bedroom two, a Jack and Jill, excuse me, that leads to bedroom two. Tub shower combo, single sink, toilet. Bedroom two, smaller than bedroom one. It's got a regular closet here. I open this door. 
That's the hall closet. Ah, this is what I missed. I missed the laundry room. Laundry room. It's got a fiberglass sink. It does have a lip and a drain. Upper cabinets, washer, dryer. Dryer is electric only, no gas. AC. Looks like a 2017 or 18 unit. So it's not that old. Master bedroom. You got two closets. There's the entrance to one. Here's the entrance to the other. And then here's the room itself. Closet one. It's not bad size. Bigger than it looks. That door should really swing outwards, not inwards. This just feels awkward. In fact, they had to cut into the, the shelving at the top so that the door would close. Bedroom. Closet two is smaller. It's got built-ins, but not really much of any to speak of. Master bath. Master bath has a long vanity, two sinks, large shower, garden tub, I know you like that, and a water closet. Plenty of drawers. Bad size. It's probably four by five. It's enclosed. Windows are double paned, but they're probably not hurricane rated as it was not required when this home was built. And that's everything. So, in my opinion, if you wanted to gut this and redo it, you're looking at no less than 300, probably 350 at minimum, 400 to 450 on the outside, depending on how well you wanted to update it. Clay's, town, Clay's condo is about the same size, and he pimped his, and it was about half a million dollars or more. There's a, it's spacious though, no question about it. It just needs tons of work. I think with your busy schedule, you're, if you can get past the, uh, the shock of how much a $1.6 million house is, I think you will be infinitely happier having something that was already done and done well to the nines. And that's it, bud. The backyard is not really a yard, it's just a back patio, nothing exciting to speak of, but um, we are done.